over the last couple of days, there was huge news for Bitcoin. This is a story that cannot possibly be understated. India, a country of a billion people, a country that will outgrow China and become the world's most populated country within a few years from now, has lifted its ban on cryptocurrency. The Supreme Court has struck down the so-called Indian crypto ban. And while this is great news, and we're gonna explain why this is so bullish for blockchain and Bitcoin, it may actually be bigger for another cryptocurrency. In this video, we are gonna discuss the radical change in India that is coming, what it means for Bitcoin, but more shockingly, what it could mean for XRP. Is this the break it's been waiting for that could send it hurtling toward the moon? Some of the smartest people in crypto think it could do just that. Let's get it. Hello and welcome to BitBoy Crypto, your one-stop shop for all things related to Bitcoin and cryptocurrency. I make videos on this channel almost every single day. If you like what you hear or see, then please make sure to hit the subscribe button and click the bell to turn on notifications. If you would like to take the conversation further, then please join my Telegram group, The Bit Squad. All right, guys, today we are going to be talking about the incredible changes in India, what it means for the world at large in terms of Bitcoin, and the sneaky way that this news could be the linchpin to the XRP bull run its hodlers have so desperately been waiting for. And we're also going to touch on some big news about Bosagora that I teased in my last video. And if you want to win 100 bucks in crypto, then stick around for my Bosagora segment. At the end, I'm going to tell you how you can do that. All right, guys, let's get into India. So before we talk about what occurred from a legal perspective in India, you need to understand India's importance to the world. Right now, at this moment, India has almost 18% of the entire world's population. And we all know China is the most populated country, but that is going to change soon, as India will pass China's population in only four years. Between China and India, they make up well over one third of the world's population. We know that last year, China announced they were going all in on blockchain. So now that India has made a very important move toward accepting crypto itself, we are now talking about one third of the world's population now in countries supporting the advancement of cryptocurrency. And that is astonishing to me. So what happened this week in India? Well, basically, the RBI, not runs batted in, but the Reserve Bank of India had placed a ban on cryptocurrency. In what is being called a very progressive and radical move by the Indian Supreme Court, the ban was overturned. Now, this is not like some sort of knocking down the Berlin Wall moment for the people of India. There are many people in India who own cryptocurrency. I talk to them all the time. Some are in this community. But here's why this is so big. We now have a roadmap that's been laid out for innovation within blockchain technology and crypto in the country. Companies were not allowed to operate within the crypto space. So before this move, you had one of the leading software development nations in the world totally handcuffed. And I believe that what a lot of people do not understand about what was going on in India is that there are so many businesses that were chomping at the bit to get into crypto and blockchain. Some had already started those companies but couldn't do anything. There was no regulation, and if these companies were to move forward and continue with crypto before this was overturned, they were risking everything. But within hours of this stunning reversal becoming public, crypto exchanges in India once again resumed business. Because there were Indian exchanges, but they had to shut down when the RBI outlawed crypto. Literally within hours, these Indian exchanges were able to start accepting Indian rupee to crypto exchanges. Fiat gateways are now open in India. So how does this actually affect Bitcoin? Well, that's a good question. In 2019, when President Xi of China announced China was going all in on blockchain, the price soared. Chinese crypto projects also soared. So what gives here? We've seen some projects like Indian exchange Coin Wazir X and Matic pump, but that's about it. The truth is, this is a long-term bullish moment for Bitcoin, but I don't expect a huge surge from Bitcoin based on this news. Why? The coronavirus. The feds in America cut rates, India releases the crypto ban, and the price of Bitcoin doesn't really budge. 
I think there's a lot of money on the sidelines right now that is waiting to see what shakes out with this virus. Call it media hype or fear mongering, but it's not a coincidence in my mind that Bitcoin has struggled ever since this outbreak really went south. And while China seems to have the virus at least somewhat under control right now, the United States has no idea what the next month is gonna look like. But long-term, the implications for Bitcoin here are huge. This is a giant step forward for blockchain. And you have to understand that every move that is a positive for blockchain is mega positive for Bitcoin. When there's development in the space, and now there's gonna be a lot more of it coming from India, Bitcoin always reaps the benefits because it is far and away the leader and the most recognized name brand in all of crypto. And it's not even close. But the second most popular cryptocurrency, not in terms of market cap, but definitely in terms of search volume is XRP. And this might be even bigger news for XRP than any other project. Let me explain. According to prominent trader Credible Crypto, regulatory clarity was the final piece of the puzzle that was holding Ripple back from going after the Indian remittance market aggressively. Great for XRP. When they talk about the remittance market, they're basically talking about sending digital payments. So basically, this was the green light the Ripple needed to go after 1 billion people who are going to go from unbanked to banked in India. And this banking revolution will be mobilized because all billion of these people will be banked through their phones. Ripple has already been busy at work in East Asia pushing its on-demand liquidity system or ODL. So moving slightly to the west to India should not be a problem for the payment solution provider. But I'm very curious to hear from anyone who is in the bit squad who lives in India. What is the sentiment in regards to XRP? I have a sneaky suspicion that the low price of XRP may be much more intriguing and appealing to the people of India rather than Bitcoin. But that's just a feeling I have. So if you do live in India, drop me a comment below and let me know what kind of effect you think this will have on XRP. And of course, if you don't live in India, you can certainly still drop your thoughts down below about that or anything else we've talked about. But let's talk for a moment about Bosagor. I told you guys about this project a few weeks ago. After I reviewed the project, I went to them and I said, hey, I want to keep working with you guys. I worked out a deal with them where I'm gonna be covering them a time or two per month for the foreseeable future. But I've got a feeling that it may end up being much more than that. If you watched my live stream last night, I went into all the reasons why I am very bullish on this project. But let's take a look at what has happened since I did the review and told you guys how much I liked it. So over the last two days, BOA, which is the token, has more than doubled its price. Oh yeah, and it did this while Bitcoin was not even doing anything. So why did this project finally pump? Well, if you've seen me chatting about this in my Telegram group, you'd have seen me say that the only thing the project really was lacking and needed was a better exchange listing. I talked to the team about that very thing a couple of times. They told me they had a few things in the works, but today one finally came through. They are now listed on BitHum, which I prefer to call BitThumb. It's kind of a weird spelling. But look at the volume on there today. Absolutely incredible. I've been telling people to jump on this project because it is going places. And it's good to get some vindication on some of my predictions. There is a lot of interest in this project in Asia, and I believe it is going to grow here as well once it gets on Binance or another large exchange. So you wanna get in on it before that happens so you can take advantage of these pumps. I think this is just the tip of the iceberg. And while I certainly expect some retracement, I think if you don't get in on this one, this is one you're gonna regret. It's not too far away now from breaking the top 100, and it wasn't even close when I started talking about it. And remember, no one else was talking about this project that I know of. But remember guys, I also have a $100 crypto giveaway I'm doing. All you have to do is join my Telegram group, Bozagora's Telegram group, and drop your Telegram handle in the comment section of my last video. I'll put all of the links in the description so you can do that easily. But I hope you guys enjoyed this video. This India news is absolutely huge and a big win for the whole blockchain space. Now, some people are still wary of the Indian government because it's very wishy-washy. But at bare minimum, this is a great positive step for bringing crypto to India in mass. If you did enjoy this video, please make sure to smash the like button and hit the subscribe button to become a member 
of the fastest growing community in crypto, the Bit Squad. Thank you so much for watching. Have a blessed day. Bitboy out.